When my wife and I first began our e-commerce journey, we started out by selling on eBay because it was easy. But over the years, eBay has gotten significantly more competitive and numerous policy changes have led to sellers seeking alternatives to eBay. Now overall, eBay is a great place to dip your toes in the waters and get used to selling online, but it is a marketplace that will eventually limit your growth. Here are my top eBay alternatives that will make you more money. eBay alternative number one is Amazon. Amazon is the world's largest online retailer that allows third-party sellers to sell on their marketplace. And Amazon is eBay's biggest competitor, but Amazon is clearly winning the battle. Now, when it comes to size and overall sales volume, Amazon dwarfs eBay. In 2019, Amazon generated $280 billion in revenue, compared to only $10.8 billion for eBay. In addition, Amazon has over 310 million customers, compared to eBay's 167 million. Not only does Amazon have double the shoppers, but their customers are loyal as well. And over a third of Amazon shoppers are Prime members, and they are much more active than the average eBay buyer. Here are just some fast facts about Amazon. Over 112 million people pay money for Amazon Prime. The average Amazon Prime member spends 1.3K every year, and the average non-Amazon Prime member spends $700 every year. Now, aside from size, selling on Amazon carries a huge advantage over eBay, in that Amazon offers a done-for-you fulfillment service called FBA. Now with Amazon FBA, you don't have to worry about carrying inventory, and Amazon will handle shipping, fulfillment, customer service, and storage for a reasonable fee. And in fact, Amazon FBA alone is a huge reason to sell on Amazon, and overall, you'll make 10x the amount of money selling on Amazon versus eBay. Now the only downside with Amazon is that both the startup costs and the level of competition is higher than eBay. Now having sold on Amazon for many years, I can attest that Amazon is easily one of the most cutthroat platforms to sell on, and it's filled with dirty sellers just waiting to sabotage you. So here are the pros and cons of Amazon versus eBay. Here are the pros. Amazon offers 10x the profit potential compared to eBay. They have a fulfillment service called FBA, which removes the need to carry inventory or fulfill your own orders. Amazon Prime attracts loyal customers who are much bigger spenders than eBay, and Amazon's extensive supply chain can store inventory closer to customers and deliver in a timely manner. Now, in general, eBay customers are just higher maintenance and frugal, and as a result, eBay requires much more customer support than Amazon. Here are the cons of Amazon, though. Amazon owns the customer and hides all customer information from you. They're constantly gathering information about your sales with the intention of competing with you, and selling on Amazon requires a larger budget and more upfront resources than eBay. Amazon is probably more cutthroat and competitive, and Amazon charges a higher selling fee, 15% versus 10%. Now, selling on Amazon right for you. Well, eBay is a great place for selling certain products like used goods and collectibles, whereas Amazon is a much better marketplace for new and private label goods. Now, from my experience, you can easily make 10 to 15x more selling on Amazon than on eBay, and not only that, but the customers on Amazon have deeper pockets and are less price conscious. With my online store over at Bumblebee Linens, we primarily sell on eBay just to liquidate our irregular goods, whereas we make six figures per year selling on Amazon alone. Now, the dirty sellers on Amazon are annoying and troublesome, but you can avoid most problems by staying under the radar and by signing up for Amazon brand registry. eBay alternative number two, your own online store. Now, Shopify, BigCommerce, and Shift4Shop are e-commerce platforms that allow you to start, grow, and manage your own online store website. Now, opening your own online store is always the best eBay alternative when selling online. Not only do you own your own platform, but you're building a business that you can later sell at a high multiple. Now, the main downside to selling in your own store is that you have to learn how to generate your own traffic, which can take some time. As a result, the ramp up to profitability will generally be slower than selling on eBay, which has a built-in audience. But once you have your store up and running, you can significantly scale your sales well beyond the reach of eBay. Not only that, but you'll also establish your own brand. When shoppers buy from your eBay store, they usually have no idea who they're buying from, but when they buy from your own branded store, they will remember. By owning your customer list, it greatly opens up your marketing possibilities. You can do email marketing, Facebook messenger marketing, SMS marketing, Facebook advertising, Google ads, and search engine optimization. Here are the pros of having your own site. There are no selling fees and you get to keep all the profit. You're building your own brand. You can attract repeat business because you own your customer list. You're not competing against other sellers on the same marketplace and you have full control over the look and feel of your website. It's also really cheap to get started. If you're on shift 4 shop for example, it's free for anyone in the US. Here are the downsides to running your own store. You have to learn how to drive your own traffic. 
you must learn how to create a high converting website and the initial startup cost will be higher than eBay. Now, is opening your own online store right for you? Well, opening your own online store is the best eBay alternative and in order to build a long-term business, you have to have your own brand and build your own customer list. Now, starting your own online store is not expensive. As I mentioned earlier, you can start on Shift 4 Shop for free. You can click on the link below for step-by-step -step instructions. It's also important to note that selling on your own store and eBay are not mutually exclusive. You can use eBay to generate cash flow while focusing the bulk of your efforts on your own store. eBay alternative number three, Walmart. Walmart is an online brick and mortar retailer that operates a chain of supermarkets, department stores, and grocery stores worldwide. Now, Walmart is actually Amazon's primary competitor, and they control the largest network of physical store locations in the world. But for the past several years, Walmart has been ramping up their third-party online sales and growing at an exponential rate of 40% year over year. They also offer a fulfillment service that is very similar to Amazon FBA. Now, the main advantage of Walmart is that they have a massive customer base, and given their current trajectory of online growth, Walmart could eventually overtake Amazon and e-commerce sales within the next decade. Now, compared to eBay, Walmart offers significantly more money-making potential if you are willing to go through the setup process. Here are the pros of Walmart. Walmart does not charge any setup or maintenance fees. You just basically pay a referral fee of between 8 and 20% whenever a sale is made. Walmart is free to get started, and their overall customer base is an order of magnitude larger than eBay. They also offer a fulfillment service similar to Amazon FBA. Here are the downsides of Walmart. You may end up competing against Walmart's own brands. Their online presence is currently smaller than eBay, but rapidly catching up. Your margins will probably be lower also because Walmart demands the lowest prices. There's also no auction option, only fixed price listings, and the startup cost may be higher. For example, you'll need a barcode to sell your own private label products. And in general, it's a pain to set up your account and get approved compared to eBay. So is Walmart right for you? Well, to succeed on Walmart, you have to be in a position where you can offer competitive pricing and still make a decent profit. Because the Walmart third-party seller marketplace isn't fully mature yet, I would focus my efforts on Amazon and your own shop first. But if you're tapped out on Amazon and eBay and looking for more growth, you should definitely give Walmart a shot. Just be prepared for some headaches as Walmart works through some growing pains. eBay alternative number five is Bonanza. Bonanza is an online marketplace that specializes in selling quirky and extraordinary products. They pride themselves in offering over 22 million unique, one-of-a-kind products ranging from parts and accessories to furniture and pet supplies. Now, from a seller's perspective, Bonanza is very similar to eBay in that you can sell a huge range of different products worldwide. But the main difference is that Bonanza actually encourages you to establish a relationship with your customer. As a result, you can actually build your own customer list on their platform. They don't charge any listing or monthly fees, and they only make money when a sale is made, and they offer different commission-based tiers depending on the level of advertising that you want Bonanza to take with your products. For example, you can pay a fee of 9%, 13%, 19%, or 30%, and higher rates mean more buyer visits from Google Shopping and other advertising sources. Now, if you decide to opt out of advertising, you just pay 3.5%. Now, overall, I love Bonanza's business model because they encourage you to build a brand. And unlike Amazon, which hides your customer data and uses it to compete against you, Bonanza strikes a great balance between sales and branding. Now, the main disadvantage is that Bonanza is still relatively small, and it's safe to say that they're over 100x smaller than eBay. Here are the pros of Bonanza. Their selling fees are extremely low at 3.5%. There are no listing fees, and they send every item listing to Google and Bing, and sellers have the option to get more exposure through their affiliate advertising program. They have an easy to use import feature for listings where you can just import your eBay listing right over. And the ratio of shoppers to sellers on Bonanza is much higher than eBay. 1300 to one on Bonanza versus less than 10 to one on eBay, which means less competition for you. And finally, you can build a brand and customer list on Bonanza. Here are the downsides. Bonanza is significantly smaller than eBay in terms of sales and traffic. They also offer limited customization in the layout of specific items and listings. So is Bonanza right for you? Well, if you have something cool to sell, and you want to expand your reach to as many customers as possible, the Bonanza is a good option to try out. And over the years, Bonanza has made it a priority to build platform-specific tools to make selling online as easy as possible. And the best feature of Bonanza is the ability to build customer lists within the platform. Now, overall, I don't see Bonanza as having as much revenue potential as Amazon, eBay, or Walmart, but it's worth a shot to diversify your sales. eBay alternative number six is the Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a feature of the Facebook app 
that lets you buy and sell items in your local community. Now you can list items for sale and you can search for items to buy based on location and category. Now the Facebook marketplace reaches over 1 billion monthly users worldwide and there are no listing fees and the product listing process is simple and straightforward. Once a sale has been made, Meta takes a 5% fee and releases your payment after your customer has received their products. Here are the pros of the Facebook marketplace. You get access to a large customer base of over 1 billion visitors. The marketplace doesn't charge any listing fees and Facebook's 5% fee is much lower than eBay's final value fees. You can also communicate with your customers directly through Facebook Messenger. But here are the downsides of Facebook Marketplace. Only Facebook users in the US have access to the online checkout feature. Facebook also does not vet buyers or sellers, which increases the chance of fraud. Now is the Facebook Marketplace for you? Well, if you're active on Facebook, then you should definitely list your products on Facebook in addition to eBay. By sharing your listings with your own community and related Facebook groups, you can drastically improve the visibility of your products. You can also run Facebook ads to improve your sales further. And overall, Facebook has a much larger built-in audience than eBay with greater potential for your products to be shared and liked. eBay alternative number seven is Wayfair. Wayfair is one of the largest online home furnishing marketplaces in the world that caters to the US, Canada, and the UK. They attract over 80 million visits per month, boasts over 19 million active customers, and generates over 8 billion in sales every year. Now compared to eBay, these numbers may seem low, but Wayfair caters to a very specific clientele that loves to buy home goods. In addition, the Wayfair marketplace has grown 40% year over year compared to eBay, which has largely been stagnant for many years. Also unlike eBay, Wayfair does not take a percentage of your sales. Instead, they operate on a wholesale cost model, which means that they pay sellers the wholesale cost for goods and they set the retail price. Here are the pros of selling on Wayfair. You get access to a huge customer base that specifically caters to home goods, you get real-time analytics of your revenue and sales, and there's custom onboarding to their platform. Here are the downsides though. They pay for your goods at the wholesale price, which could be significantly less than eBay's marketplace fees. Also, the goods that you can sell are limited to the home category. So is Wayfair right for you? Well, if you sell products for the home, then Wayfair should definitely be on your radar screen. Overall, Wayfair's revenue numbers are in line with eBay's, except 100% of the customers are in the market for home goods. As a result, you can potentially make a lot more money selling home goods on Wayfair compared to eBay. In addition, Wayfair is growing at a much faster pace than eBay, and I wouldn't be surprised if they overtake them in the next couple years. So what is the best alternative to eBay for you? Well, the best alternative really depends on what you sell. For general merchandise, I recommend selling on the following marketplaces in the following order of priority. Your online store, Amazon, Walmart, and Facebook. Overall, building a strong brand with your own website should be your top priority, but if you're looking for the best eBay alternative marketplace, Amazon will give you the best bang for your buck. Selling on Amazon will almost always result in greater sales and profit and should be the first marketplace that you focus on. But after Amazon, it's a toss up between the rest depending on your specialty. If you're on the home goods sector, then selling on Wayfair is a no brainer. And once you've maxed out on Amazon and eBay, Walmart is worth a shot if you're looking to reach a huge consumer base and are already an accomplished business with a solid brand. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.